everybody, it's Becky. I'm back with another stay-at-home mom, single income family kind of video for you guys. I did one about a month or so ago about living off one paycheck and how to save money on medical expenses. I really, really feel like that is a good video. I mean, it may not be the most interesting topic in the world because who wants to talk about medical expenses, but I really feel like there is a lot of good information in that video that is really helpful, whether, whether you're a single income family or not. I think most people are annoyed by the cost of healthcare. So if you want to save money on medical expenses and healthcare, then definitely check out that video. I'll have it linked for you below. But today, but I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my job as a stay-at-home mom. So as a mom, I have many hats, many jobs. As you guys know, I'm sure you do too. So like I'm taking the kids back and forth and I'm taking the animals to the vet and I'm doing the grocery shopping and I'm cleaning and I'm working on YouTube stuff and I'm paying bills and I'm calling the insurance company and I'm setting up doctor's appointments. Like all of these things that we do as stay-at-home moms, that is very important, but another very important part of my job as a stay-at-home mom and the person who does the finances in our house is to make the most of the paycheck that is coming in the house. In this case, it's my husband. He is the primary breadwinner. He goes out, he has a you know full-time job, makes this money, and I bring, he brings it home, and it's my job to make it go as far as it possibly can go. And so I have a couple tips and things that I do to really help to stretch a dollar and to make the most of his paycheck. So the first thing is don't accept your bills at face value and just keep mindlessly paying them without negotiating them first. And this really is in particular pertains to like internet, house phones, cell phones, uh, satellite TV, things like that. You know, it really started for us with DirecTV. Our bill would go up and go up and go up and we weren't changing anything. We weren't adding channels. We don't have any movie channels like HBO or anything like that. It was just the, the plan that we had that just kept increasing. It was ridiculous. And by the time it was all said and done, our bill was almost $200 a month and we don't even have a fancy package. So it takes time and it takes effort, but every single year you should be calling places like that, like your cell phone and your home phone and your home internet and your internet and your satellite TV and all of that stuff, your cable company, you should be calling them every single year to negotiate getting a lower price. We did that with DirecTV last year. We ended up getting our bill drop from 180 something dollars a month to $80 a month. And we paid that $80 a month for a year. And then when that year was up, guess what? The bill went back up. Well, we called back again. You know, so we've been a customer for so and so many years. Um, we're thinking about leaving to get cable if we can't get our bill under control. And they took that credit again. And now we're back down to $85 a month for this next, for this next full year. So it takes a little bit of time and effort on your part. So it's kind of obnoxious but it's worth it to save money like that. So every single year you should be calling your satellite company, your cable, your cell phone, your home phone, your internet, your car insurance, your home insurance, anything like that, you should be calling them every single year to make sure that you're getting the best rate and try to negotiate down a cheaper rate. Even credit cards a lot of times will offer you a um, lower interest rate if you have been a customer for a long time or you've made your payments on time or anything like that. They have different stipulations, but they will a lot of times have offers like that as well. So maybe for six months, they will lower your interest rate from 22% to 18% or 10% or something like that. So call your credit card companies too if you carry a balance and try to get that interest rate lower down as much as possible. It seems like a small thing, but as you add all of those savings together, it really does make a difference and it really does help your paycheck to go farther. I've actually been researching even um, some alternatives to conventional health insurance. We always had group health insurance through my husband's employer, but there's actually some other options out there that look really, really good. And I would have already switched by now if it weren't for the fact that my husband's HR department said that we have to wait until open enrollment to be able to switch from his group insurance to this other thing. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's called Samaritan Ministries. It is a medical health share plan. It's not health insurance. It's a medical share, medical health share plan. Um, and there's YouTube videos about it and there's all kinds of information on the internet about it. And it looks like a really good option for us. And it would have saved us about six or $700 a month on medical costs to do that. But unfortunately we have to wait until January. Um, but you know, be smart, be thinking about every single bill that you have and how you can possibly get that bill down low, as low as possible. So in addition to working to keep our monthly bills low, I also just try to be smart with money all year long. 
I'm always using coupons, paper coupons, e-coupons, rebates, and I price match all year long. A lot of people, I think, tend to think of only price matching at Christmas time, but I price match all year long, and I save a ton of money just doing that alone saves me tons of money every month on shopping when I can find the cheapest price, show them on my phone, you know, hey, Amazon has it for $10 or Walmart has it for $12 and save money right off the top that way as well. And I also meal plan every single week based on what's on sale, what we already have in our kitchen and really plan out what I'm gonna buy at the grocery so that when I go to the store every week for our weekly shopping trip, I'm not buying things I don't need, or already have, or just a bunch of impulse things. I mean, yeah, sometimes we buy impulse things, but I'm not buying stuff I already have in the pantry. I'm not using, you know, buying a bunch of stuff that I don't need just because I don't have a list. So meal planning, I think, is also really important to save money all year long. And it also helps to keep you from eating out as much. When you know you've already got meals ready for the week at home to make, it really is a little bit less tempting to say, oh, I don't have anything to make. I'm just going to go out and eat. When you've already got all the food at home, it kind of gives you a little bit of, a less of an excuse. And even for our yearly trip to Disney, I mean, I do my very best to save as much money on our Disney trip as possible. So I did a video about that, about how this year in particular, I saved over a thousand dollars just using a couple different money saving tricks and tactics to save money on your Disney vacation. I'm always looking for promotions that go on for like tickets and hotel rooms at Disney. So even when I'm doing something that is luxurious and splurgy, I still try to save as much money with that as possible as well. So make sure you guys are thinking about your bills and your finances. Don't just keep paying things like a lemming and just sending them in and not paying attention to the fact that there is money to be saved if you are willing to spend a little bit of time and do a little bit of work to make these phone calls and negotiate your bills down lower. It really does make a significant difference and it will really stretch your paycheck, whether you're living on one paycheck or two paychecks or whatever. It really does help to make your paycheck go farther. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you wanna see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those, and I will see you guys in the next video.